Mickey, you're in Tel Aviv, am I right? And I know that there, that's been a city that there's been, um, you know, there's been bombs heard today and tonight. I mean, how are things right now where you are? First of all, thank you for having me on. I think it's incredibly important the work you're doing in order to broadcast this and broadcast what Israel and um, Jews and Arabs and Christians, everyone alike is going through. Um, in Tel Aviv today, it's been tense. I don't want to say the word calm because I think that's an understatement. I've felt shaking and bombs the entire day. But you're asking me if I'm okay and I'm in Tel Aviv with access to a bomb shelter. I have two minutes to run to a bomb shelter if I need. People in the South have 10 to 15 seconds. It's unfathomable what's happening here. It's barbaric. Um, I'm scared, but I'm also trying to be strong. There's four of us here uh, in my friend's apartment. I haven't been home in three days. Um, and yeah, it's, it's unfathomable what's going on here. What our reporter was telling us, uh, who's in Tel Aviv as well earlier, was that, you know, it just seems like just about everybody knows somebody or is um, related to somebody who's been impacted by this. What's, uh, how about yourself in terms of being, you know, relatively close to the border? I mean, how are your friends? I mean, how are people you know? Um, I know to Americans, 40 minutes of a drive seems really f close, but to us, that's far. Tel Aviv is about 40, 45 minutes away from the Gaza Strip. Uh, about everyone I know that's Israeli that has been in the army has been called back to reserves. Um, I have cousins that were paratroopers in the past, years and years ago, that have been sent to Gaza. One of my best friends is in Gaza now. Um, I've had a few friends that didn't answer for 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours long, and thank God answered and texted us saying just the words, I'm alive. Um, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm Israeli now. I'm an immigrant. I immigrated from California about two years ago. And I can just tell you firsthand that as someone who's lived here for two years, even though I have family and friends here, I'm, I'm in pain. I'm going through the hardship with the country. But you need to imagine what the rest of the country who are born and raised are going through. Right. You mentioned um, the bomb shelter that is a fact of life for people. And, you know, you and, it, and it's good the way you're phrasing things, you know, for Americans you know, talking about how far things are. You know, for Americans, having a, a bomb shelter be a fact of your life, as you know, is uh, from being in California is not something that would be normal. It is there. But yeah. how different is this compared to what you've experienced the last couple of years living where you live? Um, there in the last couple of years, I've been in, I think, two or three instances where there's been a few days of rockets. This is nothing like what I've experienced. Um, the rockets are intense. Look, no one wants to go through that. But like I said, I'm going through, I feel like such a minimal amount compared to everyone in the rest of the country, which is just crazy to say because I've been in and out of shelters for the whole last three days. Today, I was in the shelter this morning. Tonight, uh, my friends and I went to the grocery store. We were in lines with about 40 other Israelis in the one grocery store in our neighborhood open to buy water, to buy supplies, to buy toilet paper, to buy medicine. Uh, we were told by the government about an hour ago that we should stock up for 72 hours. I think this is preventative, but I also, you know, I, I, obviously being told that we're trying our best just to take the measures necessary. And before this interview, I was just setting up the bomb shelter, but my apartment doesn't even have one. That's why I'm staying with a friend. Okay. Um, Tel Aviv, although is a very modern city, has a lot of old Middle Eastern buildings with no shelters. So well, we're all trying to group together. Okay, well, stay together and be safe. I know you're trying to say other people, and I'm sure you're right, are suffering more or in more danger, but definitely don't minimize your experience. And, um, no, I'm not. We'll uh, be safe throughout the night, and we appreciate you coming on. Thank you, Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.